right, I'm about 20 minutes away from Minot, North Dakota, and I'm gonna go supermarket. I think it's Marketplace Foods or something is the name of the, the chain market that's out here. Uh, driving with my gloves on so I don't get sun damage. Um, so there was this like massive road rage shit going on behind me. These two, like this pickup truck and this like one of those oversized vehicle pace cars were like road raging all behind me and I'm just watching it in my mirror and I'm like, they were just trying to overtake each other and they were like ra raging and racing and all this stuff. So I'm keeping my distance ahead and you know, the speed limit is like 65, um, 70. And then like we're going about to go over a hill and the pace car overtook the truck and the truck was about to overtook the pace, to overtake the pace car. Um, but we're coming up on the hill. So I sped up so that, because if the, the truck had overtaken, like these people drive on the wrong side of the road here in North Dakota. Like if he had uh, overtaken, he would have done a head on collision on this, this car that was coming out of the way. So I can see way ahead, so I'm high up. Oh my God. So then, um, so then the pace car slams his brakes on in front of, so they finally overtake me. The pace car slams his brakes on, the pickup truck slams his brakes on, and then the pace car gets out to rage at the other guy. The other guy gets out of rage at me, and I'm just sitting there like, what? Like, dude, I'm I'm fine. But the, the pickup truck had a Texas plate. So he gets out, you know, ready to rage, and then he looks at my Texas plate, and he goes, he's like, Texas, he's like, nothing, don't worry about it. And he like smiles, and then gets in his vehicle, and then goes off to keep raging. And they just, they go up, and they're just raging the whole way. And I'm like, what is wrong with North Dakota? I get it, there's nothing out here. There's literally nothing. And the only big town is Minot that we're coming up toward, um, which has an Air Force base. But still, I was like, dude, like, <laughs> you're gonna kill somebody. But it was just so comical. They probably know each other, they're probably rivals, or they're probably dating the same woman. I don't know. Whatever their beef was with each other, I just kept, I kept where I, where I was safe, way ahead of them. And then once I let them pass, I kept way back. But the look on his face when he got out and saw that I had a Bucky and then I had a Texas play and he's like, he's just like, nah, never mind, not worth it. I'm like, dude, we're literally, you're like my asshole cousin. We're literally family here in Texas. So that was weird. So that, that doesn't happen a lot. Usually just these small towns, you get these rangers, but they're either drunk or like Montana has a ton of drunk drivers, Western Montana. They're either drunk or they're just like, I am at Marketplace Foods, which is the chain for Minot, North Dakota, a town of 40,000 people, mostly the Marine base, I think. And from what I gather, it is a town of men that drive big trucks with tiny dicks. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, road ragers. Where are they wanting to go? There's nothing out here. So I'm actually getting hungry, so I'm gonna get some food here and then go find a mod pizza or something and then go to Starbucks for, it's only four o'clock and it's central time, so then I have to go do a Zoom with Harriet from Starbucks and upload my Yellowstone video. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna get some food. I'm only gone. For, I'm only here for another week before I fly home, so I don't wanna have to eat seven yogurts the day I have to fly out. Not a wide selection of food, and it is actually a dollar or two more expensive for everything that I just put in my cart, probably because uh, military get per diem, or they get um, um, basic allowance for sustenance, BAS, so they could probably jack up the price. <laughs> I mean, and we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I remember my friends in Japan that were military, they would just get so much extra money for, I mean, their rent was covered, everything, but they get their like food allowance and then per diem and cost of living adjustment. And if you, if you do the math, you can, you can come out pretty, pretty high on top. So, all right, I just need the bare basics at this point. Um, there's no like produce. <laughs> There's, literally all they had was bananas. Is there no other fruits and vegetables? I mean, they had salad that was like $5 a bag and usually it's like $2.99. I should get some snacks though. I don't even know. $5 for a bag of pop chips? I am not in Kansas anymore, people. I have food in the van. I just don't have any food to make anything. That's the problem. So, um, Plus I'm leaving in a week, so, oh, well, Gator, oh, that's Powerade. Powerade is like pure sugar and syrup. <laughs> um, I do want to go get something proper to eat before I sit at Starbucks, because I am actually getting quite hungry. Um, I think that's it. This is all I'm getting is orange juice, two vitamin waters, 
and some bananas. I need yogurts, that's what I need. I need yogurts and they don't have any large Gatorade. $10 for a Gatorade? This is nuts. This is like, I should actually, what I should do, if I had time, if I was here a little bit earlier, I should have gone on the military base. Maybe that's why the supermarket's so expensive is that the military can, can just shop on, at the commissary. I can get signed on base. Let me figure out where the military base is. Maybe I can go on there and get groceries, but I have to call Harriet in a little bit. All right, there's an Air Force base, not Marines, but there's an Air Force base, uh, but my friend was stationed here. Was the Air Force a Marine? I think it was a Marine, but he was a graphic designer. Okay, so it's, it's 23 min minutes from here, so maybe I'll go over there and go to the commissary. I don't know, I wish I had more time. I have to go to Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota tonight, um, but I'll just get some yogurts. Yeah, these are only like $3.99, and they're $5.99 here. Okay, I may have to starve. <laughs> It's like no food for me. I should go. I should go on the commissary. That would be better. Uh, I want something. Uh, plump. Seven dollars for. Okay, this is all I'm getting, and I'm gonna go eat at a restaurant because it's probably cheaper. This is nuts. It is so save now. I'm not saving anything. It is so expensive here. Why is mine not so expensive? I, I think I really do think cause there's no, hardly anyone in the supermarket. And it is a Wednesday afternoon, but I think it is because it's, um, there's a military base and they can just go shopping at the commissary. I should go over there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go on the Air Force base. It's only 23 minutes away and I can get on and just go to commissary. I need yogurts, I need raw food, and I still have at least two and a half hours before I have to be online to call Harriet. So as long as I get to any Starbucks, there's a ton of them here. That is crazy, $6. Six dollars for yogurts. That is nuts. I mean, we're isolated, but we're not desolate. Anyway, I don't know. I think it's, yeah, I think it's just jack up the price. I didn't know North Dakota was so expensive. The gas is like $3.59, so that's about Colorado prices, so not too bad. Okay, I am now driving to the Air Force Base in Minot, North Dakota, and I'm gonna go to the commissary. So I can get on because I have a VHIC card, which is, um, like a veteran's uh, health identification card. So, because I'm a disabled veteran, so I can get onto any military base, apparently. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go uh, hopefully get some real food and they have like a food court, so I can get some real food there and then just like leave and go find a Starbucks. But cannot believe how expensive those groceries were. That is ridiculous. Why is it so expensive up here? Gas is like three fifty nine, so that's on par with uh, with like Colorado and like the low end of Colorado. That is nuts. I think it's because the military just gets you know extra money for like you know living that they just jack all the cost of living up, and it's just horrible because then you just you know spend all the money you have and you don't actually earn a lot anyway to begin with if you're enlisted. Plus, but with all the other stuff like free rent and. Uh, like rent paid for and basic allowance for sustenance, BAS, and all of this stuff, you can actually make quite a lot of money as a family, but that is crazy. So I am 14 minutes, 11 miles from the Air Force Base. Let me see if I can get on, grab a bunch of stuff, and then I have, uh, it's 4.30, so I've got two hours before I need to get to a Starbucks and log on and just be ready. So I do this call every a couple days a week when I'm traveling, so... Um, usually we just plan our uh, YouTube stuff that we're um, like going to be making, like our, our animations, my daughter's animations, or we do, um, or we just watch YouTube, or we like she plays video games and like tells me about Roblox, and then I give her more Robux, you know, and then she spends it all. So we just kind of you know do whatever we can on Zoom. Um, so it kind of started during the pandemic too because everything was on Zoom. So we actually you know we can actually have a conversation and like do screen share and like watch videos together and stuff so it's nice when I'm traveling that I can still be with her uh, even if she's not here there's no this van isn't built for another person it's only a single van so it's just for my my travel research but she does want to build a uh, school bus conversion eventually with a whole gaming center so maybe one day when she's a little bit older um, we'll go ahead and build another camper van so now I'm gonna go to the commissary <laughs> go get some real food that doesn't cost me a vital organ. I literally bought, that's $11 for a, for two vitamin waters, a bunch of bananas and an orange juice. Anyway, all right, there's really no restaurant. I haven't seen any restaurants around here. I've just seen like a DMV, a supermarket, 
another part of town where all that stuff is. Uh, but yeah, let me go see what's at the commissary. If I could just buy food there, like if they have a food court and I can get like a pretzel or something, that'll sustain me. I still have another two hours to drive to Minnesota, Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota tonight. Uh, to park up for the night, then I have four hours tomorrow to Voyages, and again, I'm only fast-tracking all of these three national parks, Badlands, Theodore Roosevelt, and Voyagers, because I have the cabin at Isle Royale, and so far the weather's looking good. The weather is beautiful, yeah, blue skies, very beautiful, lucked out on the weather, so I'm just hoping that nothing gets messed up for Isle Royale, because it's my only chance to get both a cabin and a seaplane, and uh, that way I, can, I don't have to come back up here at the end of this whole national park, do every national park. I'd rather get this one visited and then, you know, so it, it, I don't mind having to backtrack for any of this, like if I have to, but so far everything is so perfect. I don't want anything to be messed up. So apart from the flight from Albuquerque to Denver, as you can see on my previous videos uh, where I was basically diverted, but okay. So let me go to this uh, military base. I just, I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, commissary, it should be cheap. So yeah, because I need I need snacks. I need I need to get food for Isle Royale. This is my only chance to really get all the food um, before I you know because after Voyagers I have another four hour drive. So I have eight hours of driving tomorrow. I'm already having six hours of driving today. I had ten hours of driving yesterday and still got hikes in and everything. I still visited the park. So it's just a lot of driving. After this, after Isle Royale, it's into Indiana and Ohio, and it's not very long drive. It's only like an hour, maybe forty minutes at the most. I think two hours from Cincinnati to Franklin so yeah it's not it's not gonna be very very much driving um, and then I fly out next Thursday so super early next Thursday so I only have one more week it's Wednesday now and then until next Wednesday and then fly home for four days five days and then come back so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do the next leg I haven't planned it yet um, so I don't know if I'll spend a little bit more time in the Midwest I went to college in the Midwest in Indiana or if I'm just going to continue on toward Acadia. But there's a whole bunch of states in between that don't have national parks where I need to find things to do. And I want to slow down. I want to, you know, maybe the next place I fly out is like Philadelphia or, you know, some place north. Um, but Acadia is the last park after I'm done with Ohio and Indiana. Um, so yeah. And then after that is Florida. <laughs> then I can't do Florida until it cools down because right now it's still the middle of July. So that's why I want to slow down and just kind of, I don't want to just drive back to Texas and just hang out there until December. I want to keep going down the eastern seaboard, explore more of the southern states. I only went to Georgia for a little bit and uh, North Carolina for a day. So I really want to do more and get more mountain biking and, and hiking in to like all the hidden gems. I've got tons of recommendations. So I don't know. In the meantime, let me go find food <laughs> because uh, that, that, was, that was crap that that was that expensive not expect it to be so expensive. Holy shit. That's crazy. Okay, this is uh, in the visitor center. So I have to register each time I go on a base, even though I can get on to all the bases, I have to still like give them my information. So I'm gonna go to the visitor center right here and just, uh, only the best come north. <laughs> well, apparently not the cheap groceries. All right, let me go in the visitor center and go get my little pass. Okay, there's visitors. There's the entrance. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm checked in and let's go get some food. They're so nice here. Uh, yeah, when you're on front desk duty, I think you're like supply sergeants or something. I don't know what MOS it is. Um, military occupational specialty. Um, but yeah, they're super nice. So I was like, well, I'm army. <laughs> All right. Check in. All right. Hi, I checked in at the front desk over there in the visitor center. sky through the barricades you just got to zigzag through all right let's go commissary well that's what I should have done instead of looking for a Starbucks and going to that super expensive uh, 
supermarket. All right, we're on an Air Force base in fucking North Dakota. <laughs> oh, my life's pretty good. Okay, so 30 miles an hour. All right. I miss the Air Force. Tim was in the Air Force, and I used to go up to the Air Force base in Misawa in northern Japan. And I could be in the commissary and I'm like, oh my god, I got like, you know, breakfast cereal and all this stuff I couldn't get in my village where I live, my town where I lived in Japan, like two hours away. And then of course guys walk by and go, oh, I can't get shit in here. I'm like, what are you talking about? You got tortillas, dude. Anyway, so yeah, Prudence. Prudence is, uh, you know, she's, she might like a little, you know, jet propelled jet <laughs> or a tank. You know, I don't know what her little fan boyfriend would look like. I don't know. All right, so let's go to commissary and uh, get food, and then I'm gonna go do my call. So, why not? You've redeemed yourself <laughs> by letting me onto the military base. The gas is probably cheaper here too. Everything's subsidized by the government. So when I get my military discount all the time, it's always like 10%, which basically covers the tax. So gas is yeah, 10 cents cheaper here. It's 3.49, not 3.59. I just love that I'm driving this massive tiny house on wheels on a military base. <laughs> So I tried to join the Air Force because uh, I wanted a job where I could travel and speak a language when I got back from Japan, um, but uh, I ended up joining the Army. So, And I tried. I tried to get in after I was injured. I tried for years to get back in. I had top secret clearance, everything, and uh, alas, I ended up going into marketing, digital marketing, so and now I do travel research. Okay. All right. Let's go find the food. Okay. Let me tell you the difference between the Air Force and the uh, and the Army. My home in uh, basic training was a barracks <laughs> and the Air Force they stay in dorms. <laughs> so um, because we were like all the nerds, we were like the translators and the map readers, paralegals, band members, cooks, all that stuff. Because we were that, the drill sergeants used to call us the Air Force <laughs> because we were like not the uh, like infantry but we were soldiers. So anyway. All right, so I'm at the commissary now. Here it is. That is what a military commissary looks like with a military guy walking into it. Okay. Okay, I'm getting more provisions. They have German foods because of the Air Force. And that's the German aisle right here. If you want German food, that's it. Those are your choices. Actually, milk is really good. And sauerkraut and uh, dumplings and spetzel. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the stuff I ate as a kid, basically. And they have the British Isle. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting more food to sustain me for the whole five days. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna take with me to Isle Royale. Uh, beef jerky is a good one. All right, so everything's about a third of the price. So yeah, the orange juice here is only two eighty three. It was six dollars at that supermarket. That's crazy. Okay, so I've got Gatorades, which are only about a dollar, and some potato chip things, and I need yogurts. And I think that's it. And then I'm gonna go to the PX and get some food to go. And then go about 20 minutes to the Starbucks. Oh, and before I go, so yeah, so 265, it was 5.99 in that supermarket. So this is the uh, yogurt that I eat. All right, I got my groceries and let's go back to the car. And I'm not gonna go eat because it closed at six and it's already like 5.15. So I'm gonna go into town to Starbucks and try to find something near there. And then head on to Minnesota. That was great, that was like, probably would have been over a hundred dollars. It was very, very cheap. These Gatorades were only a dollar. Usually they're like up to two dollars now in the supermarket. So I will remember that. The fact that I can go on any commissary, on any military base, I think in the world. I don't know, I gotta check, but I know in the US I can get on any base as long as I sign in. And I can go shopping, I can uh, eat food. Yeah, drive my van around. And this one, they just had to scan your card. They didn't have to like get an extra piece of paper like Portland would did. So, yay, thank you, why not? You're great. I have made it to a North Dakota rest area near Grand Forks. I don't know the name of the rest area. There is a crazy, crazy electrical storm going on right now. It's just like literally that one planet that has the endless storm. It's just like that. I don't know which one it is. I think it's one that's made up of gases. Anyway, so I am the only truck here. 
there's a car. And the only van, there's one car. I'm gonna park here at the end, so I'm away from all of the uh, trucks down the other end. There's a pet area, so there won't be anyone parked right there. A couple trucks over there. Uh, and I keep it classy by parking right next to the garbage. <laughs> so I don't care. I mean, there's actual real garbage can, like a dumpster over there, but I am just gonna stay here. I'm tired, it's midnight, I'm going to bed, I'm going to get up at 5 or 6 tomorrow, I've got 4 hours to drive to Voyagers, don't know what the weather's going to be like, Voyagers is very buggy, so it's going to be a lot of mosquitoes and stuff, it's up right where you do like the portage, where you can, or portage, where you can like canoe and hike and stuff, and it's just, it's just mosquitoes everywhere. Anyway, this person's just backing all the way up, what are they doing? Where are they going? They're literally just backing up the whole way. Now they're braking. Did they go too far? <laughs> like, what are you doing, sir? I mean, I get it. Maybe you need to go out. Are you going to park? Because that's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, so um, I don't really know. This is by Grand Forks. And there's a, a big, like, bathroom area, vending machines, pet area picnic tables which would be nice if I like had the time and patience to make a cup of tea but I'm gonna go to bed so I'm gonna park up and I will see you guys I don't know what video this is going on what a weird day <laughs> fun day but just crazy stuff um anyway so I'm gonna go yeah I'm gonna go to voyages tomorrow so easy day and then the next day is gonna be Isle Royale which will be fantastic and I hope nothing dampens my plans because right now it's raining wherever the hell I'm at so okay I will see you guys in the morning I need to sleep that was my amazing rest stop right near Grand Forks so I'm about 25 minutes away and I'm gonna go right now get gas and I've got a four hour drive to uh, Voyagers so ah, it rained a little bit last night uh, I'm good I'm, I'm catching up on sleep slept like a rock no one idled their engines last night so that was fantastic uh, but yeah it's cooling down about 60 degrees, so yeah, let's head to Voyagers. Hopefully the weather clears up a bit.